Hi everyone, my name is Ashraf and today we are going to talk about Azure IPAM. Azure IPAM or IP Address Management is a tool designed for customers to manage their IP address spaces within Azure. It offers centralized management, monitoring and planning of IP addresses. The solution is built on the Microsoft Azure Web Architect framework and can be accessed via user interface or programmatically through a RESTful API. We will see how to do a reservation, how to see our virtual networks, how to see subnets, and we are going to see this in this following video. Let's go to the interface. But before that, in this link, Azure GitHub IO, uh, IPAM, you can see the full documentation of the solution with all the aspects from how to use it, how to install the UI part only, how to install the backend only or uh, how to use the reservation through Postman and we are going to do this today. The main interface is like that. We have a menu on the left and settings on the right. We can change the uh, screen, the UI from dark mode to light mode. For the demo, I will go on with the light mode. As you can see here, welcome to Azure IPAM. On the left screen, there are a lot of menus. And if we drop down, there is admin and subscription, the most important parts. As you can see here, we have three admins. And here from the search criteria, we can choose a user from uh, intra ID or uh, old Azure Active Directory. And you can select it and put it as admin. Also, we can remove it and click save. So this is so fast uh, through the UI. This is the admin part. And also we have the subscription part. We can select uh, one subscription or multiple subscription. So here, for example, I excluded the DreamSpark subscription. It's an old one, I don't use it anymore. And I have only a Ashraf MCT uh, subscription. So we can click and save. And we can see all the resources of uh, all the virtual networks, private endpoints and VNet uh, inside this subscription. So this was the admin and subscription part. If you go to spaces, a spaces is like environment. So we need to create space here uh, in configuration. We go to configure Azure IPAM. We create a space. We can edit that space. So here uh, I have dev space. I'm going to rename it to dev space YouTube update. And for each dev space, we can uh, select blocks, uh, which are uh, a range of IP address or CIDR. Here we can edit and this is the block for the dev space YouTube. Okay, so here we can see the reservation and we can see if we have external networks connected to our um, subscription. We can always edit this at any time. Now let's go uh, and see uh, the virtual networks and subnets. So here, as you can see, I have selected our uh, block, as you can see, uh, for details, it's not used. Now, uh, here, as you can see, we have a lot of menus for block name, space, total IPs. If you click VNet here, we mean virtual networks. We can see the list of virtual networks that I have on this subscription. The red one is utilization is one uh, full, and the three red ones, uh, the three uh, the green ones. They are not full. We can see the details when you click on one of these virtual networks and we can see the capacity. For example, here we have 1%, so we can uh, use it. And you can see for each one is details and even more than that, we can uh, click and go to the portal and see it. So here we have the total IP that we have and we can go to the submit actually and we can see the parent virtual network and we can uh, even filter by parent virtual network and we can see here uh, how much is used every uh, uh, subnet that we have uh, how many ips are assigned uh, the percentage of use and we, when we click view on portal it will redirect us to the uh, azure portal so we can see that subnet as you can see here uh, we can see the address space too and we can do a lot of filtering in order to see. And this is actually quite good 
because what we need is to see what kind of subnets uh, we have even the endpoints here if we have private endpoints we can see the we can see the details about these private endpoints and uh, we can also uh, have filters this is actually quite uh, good if we have this interface on azure it will be great uh, because today if you have big projects the problem is when you have multiple virtual networks uh, you don't know any uh, anymore which uh, uh, CIDR are available which IP uh, address uh, are available and what you need to create so we'll, you will do a lot of manual search in order to find uh, the correct uh, one so here we have a reservation let's say that I need to reserve um, a block that I'm going to use to use for a certain project here in the documentation you can see um, that we can use postman in order to do this so I already copied the link here it ends with reservations and we are going uh, to use it in order to uh, target the backend in order to have a reservation here we have builder token in order to get that we need to go to on the right menu on the ipam solution and we have token we are going to use to that token in order to uh, make our call so token let's copy that let's paste it right here okay I'm here uh, in the reservation. I'm go uh, going to choose the size uh, 24. Here I have a valid name because through the presentation I have changed the space name. So we need to update it to diff space YouTube. Yes, like that. And paste. All right. Sounds good. Yes, 201. It's created. As you can see, the this block have been reserved. If we go back to the reservation now, we can see if we refresh a new reservation here. Yes, so it says that user have reserved that CIDR and it's for him. So here we are going just to wait later until this user use this virtual network. An admin can remove this or accept it. And which actually uh, quite good because today everyone can create resources and we don't know who use that IP range. Um, when we created the solution, actually we have deployed a couple of resources such app service, Cosmos DB, Key Vault. Let's see what we have inside the app service. So here we have a web application, and it this is uh, the actual URL of AppAmp solution. Uh, it uses an app service plan. Here, uh, it's a Linux Linux uh, service plan using the premium v3 p1 v3 so if you are using this only for demo you have to see that this cost 100 almost 100 usd per month so if you have created this do not forget to delete it if you are using only for demo or you can scale it down also we have key vault that save secrets from cosmos db and other resources here as you can see i have added uh, the, my rights in order to see the secrets so here we have the Cosmos DB and uh, Tono ID and other stuff in order to uh, access security of these resources. And here we have the Cosmos DB. So if we go here to see our NoSQL API inside our database, here we can uh, see we have a couple of items. And between of the, uh, these items here, we can see the admins that we have seen before in the portal, in the UI interface. So let's go to the admins here. I'm going to delete one of the admins from inside Cosmos DB. So let me delete, uh, let's see, not this one. I'm gonna need it later. Uh, the other one, I think, yeah, the one in the middle, which is you at Batman. I will delete this one. So let me remove this part. Okay, update. Now, if you go back uh, to the UI interface and refresh, we are going to see that this admin does not exist anymore. This is quite good. We, we know where we find our admins. Okay, 
And I think this uh, solution is under development. It will be better in the future. Uh, when we have also created uh, the solution, there was two deployments for app registration, one for the engine uh, part, which is the backend, and one for the UI part. So the engine part here, we have API permission with secrets, and, uh, and it's actually exposing an API that can be used through uh, the UI application and also through Postman. You can deep, uh, deep type a uh, letter in order to see what the how this uh, app position work actually. And here we have the UI one that is uh, using API permission in order to access uh, the API. The full solution exists uh, on this repo, Azure iPad. And I think it's really necessary today to have such solution in order to see what kind of VNets that we have uh, to ensure um, what are we going to create if we need a new virtual networks, um, what are we going to use. Uh, and here, as you can see, we can do a different kind of deployment from uh, backend only, frontend only, or maybe we are going to use uh, different tags in order to deploy the solution or add a prefix uh, for all the resources that you have created. And you can see here a bit of documentation, uh, how the solution works and how you can uh, use it. Uh, but it's quite simple. As you can see here, I deployed this PowerShell uh, file using the location name prefix and tag. And if I go to look for the tags that I have used it, in order to deploy the solution, you can see that the tags were assigned to my resource group that contain IPAM. So if I go here, you can see the text that I have created. And after that, you can uh, choose the right uh, deployment uh, scenario that you want for your demo or for your project. I think this is quite great. Uh, even I think it's not the final solution, but you can use it today in order to see or filter um, the virtual networks that you have on one or multiple subscription, the subnets, and uh, to see if they are fully used or not fully used, uh, if there is duplication, uh, or if there is planning for a new project in order to see uh, what uh, kind of um, CIDR are available, and uh, you can make even reservation for that CIDR. You can change here from dark theme. This is what I really love. And that's it for today. Hope you like it. This demo about Azure iPad.